What's good? Peace, peace. Welcome back to Urban X TV. Um, we your host. I'm Malcolm. This is the artist formerly known as the Black Dad coming to you guys. Not live, but direct. We're here. What's good? This is a podcast. Uh, it pops off. We pop up. That's the new slogan for that. Uh, I got I got to memorize that. I got to memorize. Yeah. That. If it pops off, we pop up. <laughs> I love that. Um, so, we are here. Uh, Malcolm to, 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 uh, you know, it's, it's now on and popping. Yeah. So this actually, the news, uh, actually broke as we were streaming live yesterday on the podcast that, uh, Diddy was arrested by the feds yesterday. Like as we were talking, like the, the news kind of, kind of jumped. So we had to get in and give it its proper, proper, uh, attention that it deserves. Um, so Yes, he was arrested yesterday in Manhattan. Um, he was indicted for three counts of, hold on. It was uh, sex trafficking, racketeering. Okay. Right. All right. So um, they seized multiple AR-15 guns, a large uh, drum-like uh, magazine. Apparently, there was damn near a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube that they got from the first raid. They got videos, video evidence of these freak offs from the, the first raid. Uh, they got text messages. That's when when they seized his phone, things like that. So, it is here, ladies and gentlemen. They got him. It is here. Um, I see. I got a copy. Well, I don't got the copy, but I read a copy of the um, the bond proposal. So, the proposed package is a five million dollar bond, co-signed by Diddy, his mom, his sister. And the mother of his oldest daughter and his three adult sons. Okay. Now, um, his he put up his house as equity, I mean as um collateral. Um, it had an appraised value of about forty-eight uh, million dollars. He paid off the remaining eighteen million on the mortgage, so he could be, you know, so he can actually like use that up. Um, they seized his passport, his even the baby, the the baby that uh love. They seized her passport too. They seized like everybody's passport, his mom's passport, uh, uh, everybody else because they believe he is a flight risk. And they also are talking about his propensity to threaten witnesses. That's what mm-hmm. they also are afraid of as well. Um, yes, he will be restricted to the Southern District of Florida and the Southern District of New York. This is according to the uh, proposed uh, package. Um, and the Southern District and the uh, District of New Jersey. This is also this is only to be able to travel to see his counsel and for medical appointments if need be. Um, what else did I see here? That uh, yeah, like they found uh, three AR-15s, guns, and his Miami stuff. And I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but Kevin Lyles also stepped down as chairman of. Uh, the chairman and CEO of 300 Entertainment. I don't know if this has anything to do with mm. anything, Question. but that also happened. So what are your thoughts? Malcolm, there's, there's so much here to unpack, so I need you to just relax for a few, right? Um, this journey for me started over 20 years ago when I began to try to uncover and reveal certain aspects of the music industry to people that sounded like I was from the moon. Yeah. Now, what was important during that time was I didn't know how to articulate what spirit was telling me was going on. I was in the industry before Diddy got in the industry. I had toured the world with Tim Dahl, got my first behind the scenes, look at the industry. And it's ironic because one of the people who helped P. Diddy after the City College debacle when it was almost over for him was Tim Dog. Wow. Now, the reason I'm saying all of this is because I needed to be able to put a manifesto together which best describe what we are experiencing now. But in order to do so, it was important that I sat in some classes and got uh, upgraded and so that's where Bobby Hammett, Phil Valentine, Steve Coakley, Henry D. Bernardo, uh, Dr. You know, Dick Gregory, uh, and so many others came in to 
give me an understanding about occultism, sex magic, ritual work, uh, uh, astrology, numerology, and all the other things which led to this. And I don't do plugs often, but we're going to get back to hip hop decoding. Yeah. From its ancient origins to its modern day matrix. And Malcolm has the original cover yeah. and original. Yeah. This needs to be in your library. So I'm throwing that in there now because I see now for our membership, we're going to have to really go back through the book now with what we know to become officially true. I want to give a big shout out to Professor Griff, who saw early what it is that I was doing. He also of the industry and they try to take him out for other reasons, took me around the world. And we began this process of talking about these industry people, what they were capable of and what uh, potentially was going on and how it was going down and things of that nature. And so we are now at that point where we have a, an official indictment on a main player yeah. in this, right? A main character player, so to speak, in all of this stuff. This is the tip of the iceberg, Malcolm. What they are going to see, the, the, this is just the initial indictment. Yeah. They're going to start peeling this back layer by layer by layer, and it involves so many people, as they're calling him a criminal enterprise. Yeah. And everybody who was involved that prepared, procured people that did this, that covered up that, and it's all laid out in a way which means there are multiple layers to this. None of these industry dudes will be speaking today. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I, I find it... Uh, I find it a little funny because the easy joke right now is uh, uh, they pulling up pictures of Diddy next to Drake. Easy, easy uh, uh, joke to make and stuff like that because, you know, what Kendrick said about him. But nobody is putting up the pictures at, at the brunch when he was next to that other guy. Right. So I don't know. I'm not, like they skipping right over that other guy and going. I'm just like, listen, listen, we might. You know, we might the, the the entire industry might be on his head by the time this is done, and I think what people fail to realize because they keep saying that um you know uh, Cat Williams opened the portal at the beginning of the year and he predicted it. I wanna I wanna put ourselves out there and say we predicted this long before that. All right, so as I was saying, um if you look back to to some of our, our to some of our episodes last year. When Diddy lost that marijuana deal, that was supposed to make him like a really huge player in that industry. And then a couple months later, he lost that Ciroc deal. We legit say, yo, something must be coming down. Like they must know something if mm -hmm. they're willing to kind of just dump him like that, right? We don't need you anymore. Some like there must be something. And then he uh, uh, went to to the Earn Your Leisure Invest Fest. He gave away a million dollars, right? on stage big check then he got the key to the city he got the key to the city then he started giving everybody back there publishing and but and everybody was just like oh snap that's what's up and then everybody and then um a few people started going like yo i had to sign an nda so it's just like okay what is he trying to what kind of goodwill is he trying to buy because what is about to come down and then lo and behold the cassie situation happened now what's interesting about these indictments is that I think from the Cassie uh, um, situation, the, uh, the Cassie lawsuit, the video of him, you know, assaulting her. I think everybody could kind of could kind of use their imagination as to what he was doing in that field, like in in, in no with like with that kind of stuff, right? So none of this in the indictments, fourteen pages, surprised me at all. I'll be honest with you. I was just kind of like, okay. Like that fits what was kind of just going on in my imagination of based on what was already kind of put out there, right? And based on years and years of just rumors and speculation and stuff like that as well. So none of this surprised me. Um, I was a little disappointed, not disappointed, but I I thought we would start to see more of the uh, uh criminal element of what he was doing, but we didn't. So, like you well, said, this could be the tip of the iceberg. Well, part of it is because sex trafficking or ex trafficking that is criminal. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, that's criminal. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
uh, brutality, the drugs that would be, you know, moved across, the, 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 the ammo secretly taping people uh, for purpose of uh, leverage and coercion yeah. and drugging individual. A lot of that stuff is so criminal, yeah. but it is the tip of the iceberg. And, and, and I say that because when you're dealing with somebody who had unlimited resources and power, this is what they're not telling you in the indictment, right? Cassie came out allegedly in 2006 and went to police officers or this uh -huh. and that for them to file charges and no charges were filed. Why is that important? Because this indictment is from 2008. Yeah. What it means is that Diddy had people on payroll or police officers who were not willing to do their job. So when you start speaking about a RICO case of how many people really are involved, how deep does the rabbit hole go? A man with this type of power yeah. who can get charges dismissed or not filed, what does that say to those who want to come forward and speak their piece and say their case, they have nowhere to go. Throw Austin in there well, because uh, he was burning up people's cars oh, that, yes, and, yes, yes. and, and uh, 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 intimidating witnesses. Uh, so there's so much, Diddy is a Scorpio, right? And so mm -hmm. when we start talking about sexual energy, the Scorpio in particular is the one, if you give them a free, unlimited range of whatever they needed their deepest demonic uh you know what i'm saying energy they on demon time he was literally on demon time yeah you know and and the people that he filmed and see this is why you need to know who's gonna be the prosecutor yeah. in this case the judge because remember this goes all the way up to I politics allegedly Prince Charles or all of these individual, one of them princes, yeah. I might get the name, you know me, I'm always screwing up names. And so if that's the, the ceiling, then the bottom is everything in between that at these three and four day free courts, right? Yeah. That, um, uh, you know, so many different drugs and one of those drugs, I think it's the HGA sugar, one of them is to loosen up the butthole muscle because that's a muscle uh, uh, right and so that you could be engaging in the most horrific things you can think about for days and at a time then he was giving people ivs to yeah. recover, which means that and i need an iv after coming <laughs> to your party that level of freak off along with the baby oil and and yo you know what you know what's crazy too Remember um, on butt plugs and all kind of wild stuff. Remember, I, was it at the top of this year or last year when um Jamie Foxx was talking? This is, I think this was last year when he was talking about yo Diddy's parties. Oh man, oh man, remember that? Like, and people was yes. like yo, and then he went missing for a while, and people was like it was probably because he was talking too much. And I always talk about on on our podcast how a lot of these situations seem isolated, but when something else happens and you line it back up it all kind of makes sense right i told you you got to step back to see we're talking one story yeah of a few individuals who power was bestowed upon them and they took full advantage do not think the jamie fox situation was not connected it is right all of these pieces are are, are, are connected when this type of energy malcolm and this is where the occult understanding comes in, and you won't hear this on many of the blogs, is when that type of sexual energy is all harnessed in one place, mm. it creates vortexes. You know what I mean? And Diddy becomes empowered by after the experience takes place and all that all gone energy for multiple orgasms opens up these many portals what he don't tell you is, and they sort of mention it when he talked about Cassie's uh, menstrual cycle and mm. what he would do with that when he would take her menstrual cycle. Somebody has put him on mm. on how the ritual aspect of it goes. So there's a physical aspect 
And then there's an occult aspect when all of these portals are open and he can go into a separate room, as they say in the indictment that he was jerking off or whatever, mm -hmm. he can focus his energy and take all that energy up. And now he has become, he literally on demon time and it empowered him and protected him. And he, you left a part of yourself with him that you didn't even know you did. So while you thought you were just going to get off, he kept a part of you with him every time he did that. Mm -hmm. All right. And so those are aspects of it that I was trying to put people on. There are multiple layers to this. How do you keep your employees in line? You blackmail them. That's yeah. not something he made up. That's something that's been going on in the industry for years. That's something probably Clive Davis and the real estate agents that he moved about mm -hmm. because for them, it's something different. Yeah, You know what I mean? It's something totally different for them because they understand the rituals of how to keep your artists in place. And then you never leave with that catalog. We spoke yeah. about that. Yeah. So as big as his catalog is, was you don't leave with any of this stuff from this realm. Tag Diddy, he's it. And so now we are seeing in full time what's about to transpire. But I say it's just the tip of the iceberg. There are too many moving parts. There are too many Stevie J's out there, uh, Ray J's out there, uh, you know, pieces. What's Usher's story, Justin Bieber? You know, are they going to unveil that or the, are they trying to just box Diddy in mm. and let him take the fall? And it's ironic because as he was being indicted, Jay-Z was out cutting ribbons. Yeah, yep. You know, somewhere else celebrating a whole nother aspect of life. Where does he play into this situation? Because you can't have it both ways. You can't have them always, you know, boy, the back to back. They run this, this, that, and now your man go down and you know nothing. Yeah. And you are absorbed. So they said his time comes next year. This is this is a heavy mountain to climb. And <clears throat> for some, it may seem like it's an attack on black people. It is not. It is an attack on a portion of the culture that has set our people back 150 years. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say. It set our people back under the guise of partying and celebrating mediocrity, mm -hmm. popping bottles and, and doing drugs to escape the reality that we as a people are not moving forward. And the ones that we trusted and thought were helping us move forward were in fact moving us backward for their own personal gain. Yeah. This is just what it is. So now you have to start looking at all of these people because they all, 95% of them are involved yeah. in some capacity, right? They either was at these parties, they looked the other way, were complicit in other ways, kept the industry at bay, who comes in, the gatekeepers, who goes out, how we will leverage this. And now it's all coming down because the timing for it yeah. It's to all come down and you can thank Cat Williams or the 4K, as I put it, Kendrick Lamar, Kyrie Irving, mm -hmm. Kanye, and Cat. All right. I gave you the 4Ks on how this thing was going to work down and show you what's going on in this specific time. So um, uh, originally, this is according to TMZ, originally Diddy was supposed to be arrested today. But something happened that caused the feds to move in a day earlier. So what was like somebody said that he had Bali uh, on his Expedia account. Like, all right, man, like, what are we looking at? But if you understand how feds work, especially with big major cases like this, he knew this was coming. He has been seen in, in, in New York City past yes. few weeks and stuff like that. I think he was just getting his affairs in order, whatever yeah. that means. I think yeah. he knew this was happening. But why they chose to move in a day earlier, interested into hearing about that. I'm interested in that because I can understand them if they moved a week earlier or two. Right, right. I, why would Diddy wait to the very last minute yeah. unless, uh, you know, 
there were thoughts of suicide or something mm. that came down because you don't escape in the in the twelfth hour, uh, knowing that you know they they pretty much are watching your every move. So I'm curious on why um, that happened. Like I said, I thought the indictment would come down on Friday the thirteenth. Uh, how ironic is that? Because that's the date in which um, Tupac yeah. uh, passed away. So I thought that they would line that up in conjunction uh, with that because we haven't even saw. See, once they get you in the system with the indictment, then they can just start adding on. Yeah. You, you might have the Biggie situation and this situation. How high will they let this go? And what portion, or is it just, we gave black people, we used them as talisman as they do. Yeah. To set a portion of our community that was coming out of the civil rights movement, Black Panther Party, and ready for what I felt was an uprising, right? They gave us the keys and gave us certain powers because even Eve has a new memoir coming out uh, speaking about the name, the day her album came out, Jay-Z called her and told her, congratulations, but don't get too excited because women artists don't do too well and just kind of uh, formulating what this is going to be among other things that we know about. And so how deep are they, are they going to allow this to go? Because there is a renewing, a replenishing of so many things, but you can't stop there. Yeah. Right? So people saying <clears throat> that this goes up high, but where did you start chopping the cheap tree from? Yeah. Do you chop it from the top or do you chop it from the bottom <clears throat> and get the portions of it that are accessible, but don't stop chopping. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Harvey Weinstein was their offering. Yeah. Right? Their sacrifice. <clears throat> that was going to be but my point. Just, huh? That's, that was going to be my next point because because people was going, yo, Diddy's going to snitch, Diddy's going to snitch. And I'm sure he has a Rolodex of people with stuff on, but will they let him? We just saw Jelaine Maxwell get arrested for essentially the same thing, but not like they didn't tie her name to anybody. They said she was sex trafficking, she was procuring young girls and, and, and girls for, for the high powered people, but who are the people? They never right. they never disclosed that. So I can see them doing the exact same thing with Diddy. Right. This is what I'm saying. <clears throat> where where do they cut off and say, okay, yeah, we gotta cut this off here. The people, most people will be satisfied with the offering. Yeah. Right? It's just a sacrifice and it, it points, it puts uh corruption, crime, demonic energy into a single person and say, This is what's bad about America or our people. They yeah. do it with presidential candidates, yep. they do it with so-called terrorists overseas. This is the face of evil. Our people are ha have to be brighter than that now. Yeah. And say, no, we're not accepting you handing us sure. Diddy needs to suffer for what he did, but we want more. When the people decide we want more and we want it all to come down, then we will make true progress in this country. They gave you R. Kelly. Yeah. Right? Oh, he's what's bad. I'm glad we got him off the streets. And nobody came, all of them people, he done wrote songs for 600 people. None <laughs> of them people came forward, you know, cause they was like, okay, now Diddy's gonna be the one where they get to, okay, yeah. Diddy went down, uh, Harvey Weinstein, so you can't say it's a black thing. We gave you Harvey Weinstein. He was the face of Hollywood evil. They are very pacifying in how they do what they do because the very structure itself is yeah. corrupt, it's demonic, it's, it's sorcery going on, it's human trafficking going on, it's PDF file stuff going on, on levels you couldn't imagine. This whole Western society is built on this. And how much do you really want to know? So if you want to know about the unknown, Malcolm, what do you study? The known. You study the known. So if there is a ditty out there, then there are those that you don't know about who operate in the same premise, who are given even higher 
sorcery clearance, mm. <laughs> right? You know how you yeah. get, uh, you know, uh, you don't have the spiritual clearance or yeah. you don't have this. He had a level of sorcery clearance that somebody gave him and put him on to a few things, but they are higher and higher levels to it to when you realize all of this stuff is about the capturing of your frequency on disc, on compilations, on recordings that can now move and shift other people's energy and have the ability to change wide band frequency. You know so, what I mean? To do so things and make things happen. Why now? What? Because, like, um, you know, my lady, she asked me this. She was just like, yo, what kicked this off for him? Like, did he mess? Did he piss somebody off? Like, what kicked this off? Or was it just a combination of everything, like a snowball downhill? Because, he, like you said before, he's had a 30-year run of being untouched, being just, you know, uh, having unlimited power. But what happened, do you think? Or dis do you think something happened to trigger whoever to go, all right, it's time? Well, let's deal with the immediate. I think this is a distraction from something going on with the election. I'm just talking about immediately. Okay. Trump, another, uh, uh, an attempt on his life. We, we forgot all about that. Yeah. Immediately, because they know the way our energy, melanated people's energy work. So they had this Trump in there. They had this card in their back pocket. They could play that card at any time. I think so we called it. We did. We did. We, we said yeah, yeah. something is going to take place. Yeah, which yeah. moves us from from a worldly perspective of things that could affect our lives to something that we just care about and, and, and that changes the algorithm or now controls the algorithm because now your reality is a digital-based reality, Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. Here we are in a digital-based reality, giving energy to something you know what I mean? Right. And that energy, people will tune in. They will have their opinion of that. And so our reality is digitally based now with interface with our spirituality. Everything is into one, uh, you know what I'm saying? Digital download, so to speak. And so they could play that card at any time. And like I said, I thought they'd play it on Friday the 13th, but they're playing it now. And I think it's going to be to cover up some other things coming down the pipe, dealing with the election, dealing with your actual freedoms in this country. Mm. Now, when did the ball get rolling? Well, that got rolling last year or two years ago with Cassie. That was last year. Right, giving them an opportunity to put something that was concrete yeah. in place that now they can work on and, and retro. Because remember, even when... Um, uh, uh, Gensman got arrested. They questioned him about PDF file and P. Diddy. Wait a minute. I'm getting arrested for, you know, trafficking or whatever the case may be and drugs. And you're asking me about P. Diddy? So when did Hensman get arrested? Maybe 10 years ago now. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, yeah. right? And you're asking me, so this is something that they've known a very long time. Right? Yeah. So, and then let's not factor in, we have said, we think he was a confident informant to begin with. Yes. Allegedly. Yes. And so he was already working with law enforcement to some degree and maybe was uh, uh, setting other people up as a part of his, uh, you know, agreement to stay out on things that they may have had on them early in life. Hmm. Remember the feds said, and, and you can, don't quote me, but I remember they were tailing Biggie Smalls into 10 minutes before he got hit. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? On suspicion of trafficking, if, if, if mem memory serves me correct. What does that mean? That means that Diddy has been on the radar in some capacity for doing something. Mm. Biggie was out there with Diddy doing Diddy's album. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so what are we talking about here? Did they not have enough evidence? Or as we spoke in our podcast last night about just bringing you down on indictment, the feds will let you cook. 
Yeah. The feds will let you cook for a while. And, and then Diddy being taught how to leverage certain things, man, his his library on these individuals in compromising positions is so long. And it probably includes everybody. Yeah, yeah. him and her too. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably been the leverage he's had for 30 years. But you slip up. You start thinking you're invincible and then you slip up. Yeah. Um, that that Cassie thing, that like was monumental. Monumental. It was like for years, everybody guessed this, everybody speculated, they've heard rumors, and that was in plain black and white at her expense, right? Like, cause it had her in there doing some wild stuff. Yes. Right? Right? Yes. But it came out, and that is kind of like always what's needed to really set the first domino in motion. And as you said, like that being put in black and white was like that uh, allowed law enforcement to kind of do the same thing. And then more people felt emboldened to kind of go, "This was my experience with him. This was my experience with him. This would happen with me." Uh, the, uh, the the girl from Danny Decane, Dawn, said, "Yo, oh, 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 dirty money." She was emboldened said, yeah, this was my experience. The other girl from Dirty Money was kind of like, yo, I ain't see nothing. Don't don't put me in that either. Don't, don't put me in that. So interesting to see um, who s says anything about this. Like any uh, and people in the entertainment. And let's not forget, Malcolm, the Kim Porter situation. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, this thing has, listen, this thing has multiple moving yeah. parts. Yeah. And, and it might even align with the Keefe D situation. This thing has multiple moving parts. Yeah. You got to know, here it is. And it's going to probably wind up being a 40, 50 count indictment. Mm. I believe when it's all said, it's going to be so insurmountable. You know what I mean? That, But he is going to just represent a domino in this four and five dimensional chessboard and a lot of people will be happy, especially white America, mm -hmm. because they 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 take solace in knowing, man, let's take that Negro down, and it's deeper than it's so much more deeper than yeah. that. We stop falling for the okie doke, and they give us somebody as the symbol of hate, of debauchery, and then it all goes away. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then yeah. we move on. They. They give it a little bit of time and then they reset the algorithm and start talking about something else and it becomes a thing. Because now that this thing is, is on the track, there's going to be hearings, there are going to be news yep. reports. This thing could last way past the election and then some. This trial could be the trial of the century Yeah, for yeah. what it represents, right? Or so they could try to sweep it under the rug. Or they could try to sweep it under the rug. He makes bond. Yeah. Something happens to him. We now go go from accusing him to mourning him. He becomes a weird martyr of sorts. They sweep it under the rug and they move on. Yeah. Right? Yep. So this thing has we we are going to cover this in our membership. I'm gonna open up that can of worms again. Okay. Our members only, and and so we can start peeling back these layers because this book is 20 years old. Next year. Jordan Campbell. Yep. Yep. 2005. 20 years old, and it's more relevant today than it was then. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be time to uh, you know delve back into some of those topics. And what's going on? And his children seem like they're involved because a lot of their names was yeah. the heads of these enterprises and companies. So he may have even screwed his own children by his his own doings. And and so it's, it's a very sad situation, and it's a very bad situation at the same time. Yes, it is. So as Dad just said, we will keep you updated on any other news that drops from this. And um, I'm interested. <laughs> Just like you all to see how this uh, plays out and um, what pieces on the board get moved and shifted into position. So uh, we will see you guys next time. All right, I'm Malcolm. This is The Black Dot. This is Herb Next. Peace. Peace.